Hello, and welcome to this week's CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Franco Rotoli, and today we are going to be talking about SOLIDWORKS simulation and non-uniform load distribution. We all remember these problems in school. A simply supported beam is loaded unevenly, blah, blah, blah. The equations weren't much more than some trig in algebra, but they could be tedious. Those were simple beams loaded in two dimensions. In simulation, we make many assumptions. Perfect materials, perfect loads and restraints, and mostly perfect contact. In the real world, either due to natural or man-made conditions, uneven loading is more common than a perfect loading. This can result in dangerous or catastrophic failures in the system, or sometimes can also end in hilarity. Either way, it's important to plan for these events. SOLIDWORKS Simulation has had the ability to distribute loads non-uniformly for quite some time now. Back in 2015, SOLIDWORKS revamped the interface for non-uniform distribution of loads and added the ability to use spherical and cylindrical coordinate systems in addition to standard Cartesian coordinate system. Since summer is coming up, we're going to run a simple calculation of the hydrostatic pressure on a pool. My pool is an unsupported aluminum tub that is 6 by 12 feet and 5 feet tall, filled to a depth of 4 feet. Using the hydrostatic pressure equation, pressure equals density times the gravitational force times depth, we get a pressure of about 1.73 psi at the bottom of our pool. Let's jump into SOLIDWORKS simulation and let's see what happens when we fill up our pool. I will select all the faces below the waterline and add 1.73 psi pressure to them. The pressure seems to be in the wrong direction on the bottom face. Let's just add that as a separate load. The results don't look promising for beating the heat with this pool. I have adjusted the scale to show anything that is yielding to be in red. With a max stress of 60 MPa, this configuration is going to be flooding my yard. A quick look at the factor of safety plot shows this pool has no chance. But just wait a second, hydrostatic pressure varies with depth. There's not 1.73 psi at the highest point on the water level, in fact the pressure there is almost zero, which is good since this is the least supported area of my design. Let's jump back into the pressure definition and have SOLIDWORKS figure out how this is really loaded. I'm going to select the same faces as last time and make my pressure value 1 psi. This time, let's check the non-uniform distribution checkbox. By selecting the predefined coordinate system, I know that positive y values will increase my pressure. Remember the equation for hydrostatic pressure? Notice the arrows also update to show my pressure distribution. This is a handy feature I used to make sure my equation is correct. Let's run this study. Wow, significantly different results. I'm nowhere near the yield point for this material. In fact, I'm likely over-designed, costing much more for this pool than it should. A quick check of the factor of safety plot shows an FOS of almost 600. With this new information, I can start modifying my design and saving money. So the next time you're running a simulation, make sure you consider if your loads can or will be distributed evenly. It could mean the difference between enjoying your summer or spending it doing redesign. As always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tech tips. See you next time. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.